Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome to this DIY. Today we're going to be making this Chanel inspired mini bag. For this, we need a uh, foamy paper. I'm using this white. I'm going to be using this old Target gift card just to base myself as to what size do I need. Then I'm going to use my ruler, you know, a pencil or pen and just mark that. And I'm just going to cut it. And then I'm going to be folding this twice like this. I'm going to cut the excess right there. And in here, I'm just going to be figuring out how long I want that top part to be. So this is what I cut it, but I ended up cutting a bit more. I'm going to be taking red acrylic paint and a brush and I'm just going to paint in that part and this is going to be making the inside of this bag i'm just going to be giving this a few coats then i'm going to be taking my real acrylic paint and another brush and i'm going to put this upside down and i'm just going to be pretty much painting the back of it so this is where the fun starts and what the design of this actually happens i'm going to take a ruler and i'm going to be taking this you know baking knife or spatula that i have you can use a butter knife as well make sure it's like smooth yeah so you don't end up cutting the foamy paper i'm going to be marking my way with my ruler going across from top left to bottom right and i'm just going to mark that and that is going to be my base to the rest of it then i'm going to be taking my sharpie and i'm going to cross the same line just to make a bit more indentation i'm going to keep on doing this uh, towards the bottom part working from that line towards the bottom and then i'm going to be turning this upside down and i'm just going to be pretty much doing the same thing from like the first line towards this uh, side bottom part so once i've done that i'm going to be doing the same thing but across those lines marking lines all over the place until i'm done and because of the nature of this paper the lines are going to stay there i'm going to be gluing this i'm using the glue that i use for my press on nails i tried working with the hot glue gun doesn't really work just so you know but yeah i'm just going to be pressing this hard until it's uh, glued together then i'm going to be working on details here and there here i'm painting like the edges and just trying to cover everything here i'm just working on the inside details that i uh, missed like black spots then i'm going to be taking some velcro and i'm going to be cutting this into stripes so basically i'm just going to be having four pieces like this gluing those to my card holder mini bag or whatever you want to call it i'm going to be gluing the roughest part on like the open but to glue the bottom parts i'm going to be taking advantage of like the roughest part of there i'm going to be closing this pushing that until the rough parts give me like like marks so i can glue the smooth part in there now it's time to make this a chanel inspired item for this i'm going to be taking a small piece of foamy paper and i'm going to be painting this in black you don't need to paint the whole thing just you know a tiny square there then i'm going to be taking gold acrylic paint a straw and a toothpick and i'm pretty much going to be picking my pen through my straw and then stamping the paint that i have on my straw onto the black foam paper to make this look like a ring i'm going to be doing this twice overlapping here's another perspective of what i'm doing here i searched online the chanel logo once my gold acrylic paint is dry i'm going to be taking my tiny brush and my black acrylic paint and i'm just going to be pretty much erasing a bit of gold in there so it looks like the logo itself once it's done and dry i'm going to be taking the scissors and i'm just going to cut the whole thing first in like squares and then cutting the edges so it doesn't look like square like pointy edges but it looks more delicate like this i think anyways then I'm going to be painting the edges again with my black acrylic paint and my mini brush and I'm going to let it dry again and I'm just going to be gluing this on the middle in there. It's up to you where you want to place your logo but I found that this is the best place. It's not in the way when I want to open this and I think it looks pretty cute. And yeah, this is pretty much the idea that I wanted to share with you. I can't believe this turned as cute as it did. Well, it looks cute to me. Let me know if you feel the same way. Sometimes I just use purses or mini bags and my wallet can fit in there and i just need something cute to use for my credit card and my id or just cash stuff like that and that doesn't require a lot of space but you need to place them somewhere but now i can place as many cards as i want i think chanel bags are pretty cute and classic but they can get pretty pricey plus they are sadly not fully free so i just want to make this alternative for that design which i really like and if you like it as well don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel for more stuff i upload twice a week and share this so yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye guys.